think is weird too, and and what Travis pointed out in his video is also the discrepancy in Riot PR because in in the on the game side they're incredibly transparent. Like their designers for game stream, you know, some of their individual yeah, uh, sure. you know employees are are posting patch notes or like patch previews, and they answer questions. And so what's really weird about the esports scene is that. It's so different in tone and in access level. And, you know, how many times can you even describe what John Needham looks like? By the way, he's the one in charge of esports globally. That's like, true. no one ever sees this guy. He's a ghost. He is a ghost. And there isn't a face to this. There isn't regular press appearances from anybody. There isn't any kind of interface that they do with the community. And I complained about the, the way they message things before, which is at the start of of the the spring or the summer split of last year what they did was they they issued like a, a statement about black lives matter and but the way they did this was that they used their freelance broadcast talent to read a message on the stream instead of an actual riot executive sitting there and and delivering that message and it's like you know i don't know if the talent agreed with it but i think that it's egregious to a to ask freelancers who are there to do a job with your company to deliver a corporate message when you, yes, the executive, were coming from? DJ, we out to announce their event, a big cancel, mate. Yes, yeah, they, I know, well, but that's I mean, the point. Also, also, and all you saw from a riot executive was him basically saying George Floyd deserved it. By the way, if you remember, there was a Facebook Jesus. post that he oh, he yeah, got he let got go. Fired. You remember that? Yeah, there was yeah. there was oh, a yes. higher uh, there was a higher up at Riot that made a Facebook post about basically just how another George reason Floyd deserved, to fucking deserved love, it. it. Yeah, just another fucking yeah. reason to love Riot Games and, executives, I guess. And he so, and he I, and that's all you see because you're right because the freelancers have to say it. They have to stand up. They're like you know they they're the ones that have, are being put up to the social message. And then all you see from the executive is that he's making the stupid fucking Facebook post. And yes, he got let go. He resigned from the company. I'm forced out, right? But like at the same time, when you're contrasting, you're right. That is not good. Yeah, but what my point is is like on the one hand, on the game side, we have all this transparency from the company. Um, like, you know, he points out that Riot Mort, who uh, is the one who is the principal designer behind TFT, streams all the time. I know from talking to Doa, who's deep in the D TFT scene, that, you know, he's really an open book. And so what's confusing is that there is all there's a, there's this level of obfuscation around the esports angle. And what this what I infer from this correctly or not, because it's the only thing I can infer is that things are going really well on the game side. And there is a reason they have to, to, to draw in the PR on the esports side. I, I can only assume, based on behavior, that that reason is negative. It may not be. It may not be in the end. Like, but it, that's, that's what you infer. And it's really, it's really odd because most of the time, this sports executives, and Riot loves to compare themselves to traditional sports, are the ones in front of the camera, right? I, I am a commissioner of a league. I've, we four horsemen, me. <laughs> you know, basically, did. Uh, you did that, and I showed up, and I I talked about the and issue. And we were very gentle, and we sent you a hemorrhoid cushion afterwards. <laughs> Thank so, you very uh, much. <laughs> but but my point is, is like I try and put myself out there, and I don't, you know, I don't censor questions, or I don't ask for pre-submitted questions, and I, I aim for a level of transparency when it comes to Flashpoint, and Thorne did too when he was a part of it. It's a core principle of what we wanted to do when forming the league, and so. I just get so confused as to why the PR is so odd on the esports side, but so open as as Travis points out on the game side. And I can only assume it's because they feel that they have to protect themselves um, for, uh, for reasons. So listen, I I think this is an interesting angle to explore, but I also it, I'm I'm kind of a little bit surprised that you're the one that wants to explore it because you're usually the one that has a very good understanding of of where we're at with american sports products i mean that's what we're talking about here a product and yep. it, when you look at okay so let's do something analogous uh nba china chinese expansion uh the hong kong protests occur right the amount of money that is on the fucking line here it we it is hundreds of millions. It is. I mean, famously, they said they would literally just stop showing NBA games in China because of yes, like right. Rory and LeBron's comments. Yeah, that's yes. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and so, 
what what we ended up with is we end up in this insane world. Okay. Now, by the way, I've 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 actually met uh, Adam Silver uh, again because we mission filmed, of the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. Because yep. we filmed right now <laughs> and super cool dude, like you know, doing all the Travis Gafford qualifiers. But you end up in this mad world, don't you? Where he comes out and he says, "We're never going to censor anyone from saying anything." Because uh, at the NBA, we, we, we're not like the No Fun League. We, we allow our owners and athletes to express their opinions. So you go, okay, that's cool. Like Still that. find the fuck out of you if you complain about the refs, I noticed. But yeah, well, true. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, uh, you have somebody say, well, of course Hong Kong should be fucking free, and what China's doing is fucking outrageous. Boom. Nah, 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 nah. And now all of a sudden it's a big brain. Ha ha. You look he's to the LeBron. Best. You he's look to LeBron. Best. Right? Like Adam no. Silver is the best of the, the sports in this yeah. regard. And trust me, and, and it's still not great. It's still not great. And you look, he's to, the best. you look to he's LeBron, your big star, and now the press put pressure on him, and he goes, You know, I think we just shouldn't try and be politicians over here. We're we're athletes after all. Got an opinion about every fucking thing else. Uh, uh, and what you'll realize is this is the information is being disseminated. You are being told what you kind of can't say. The motherfucker from it was the Rockets, right? Uh, yes, the Daryl Morey. Daryl Morey. Uh, th thanks. Now with the Seventy Sixers. Yeah. Uh, he came out and sort of apologized, but didn't apologize. And that must be where Sam Park learned it from. Right there we go. Yeah. Well, so we'll go through questions and whatever. <laughs> well, they, they, that's his mentor. So actually, there right there, there you go. There you go. Right. Learn from the best. So yeah. when I look at how Riot Games operate, and then I look at like how the NBA op 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 operate, I look at how Activision and Blizzard operate, where they literally find a player and remove him from a fucking tournament circuit for six months. On appeal, that was for sa for saying Hong Kong deserves human rights and not to be oppressed by a fucking tyranny that, by the way, right now is still exterminating Uyghur Muslims and everyone in America is and, still and doing just shut down the only independent press publication in all of Hong Kong. By the way, yes. Apple Daily got shut down last oh, week. Oh, Hong, so. Hong Kong has fallen. It's going to make some because the West got Gafford Industries China has been closed out. Fuck that. Because the West, the West got the West got bored after a week when it wasn't a hashtag or a T-shirt. We all fucking forgot about it. So when when that's happening, and we're talking about the biggest corporations on planet Earth and the biggest sports leagues on planet Earth, you can't particularly single out Riot, can you? They're no, in line they're, with the NBA. They're they are, you know. It's interesting, like even comparing like the say BLB thing, right? Like the that happened a few months ago in, yes. in Overwatch. Yes. Um, yeah, they were boycotting I think, his team. Yeah. I I think the only reason the only reason it didn't get worse is because there was so much backlash around the Blitzchunk yes. thing a few years ago, right? Because like Activision Blizzard, like you know how many people can't cancel their WoW subs because of that, right? Like people were outraged at the blitz chung thing but like it took that much blowback to have some fucking human decency like jesus christ but, but, and stand well, up again, for like someone's outrage by the way especially in esports and gaming circles outrages you angrily tweeted for like twice to be fair yeah i i actually do think it it they, they were a huge financial a protest at activision blizzard and 